Good afternoon to everyone. So you may wonder what a car company is doing at an event where ecology and development are led by the spirit. I mean, does a car maker really care? Well, yes, we really, really do. Because today we are at a historic turning point. Economy and ecology must converge and must do it faster. Humanity lately has had multiple wake-up calls, so a new road has to be taken. So we are here this evening to say we are happy to be of service. Lauda to see is a call to action and we must all play our part. It's a duty, but it's also an opportunity. You know, it's an opportunity for our business to reinvent its purpose, for our products to really evolve, and for us managers who are also mothers and fathers to leave a better world to our kids. Now, speaking of purpose, the one of my company, Fiat, has always been to provide mobility to all in a typical Italian way. Simple, beautiful, and socially relevant. You know, some cars in the past did it so well that they became icons of their times, like the Fiat 500 in the 60s. Now, in the 60s, social relevance was all about making mobility accessible, while today it's about making mobility sustainable. So for the new generation 500, we went all in. We made it electric only. Trust me, this is a bold move, almost a gamble. I mean, 90% of drivers wouldn't even think of an electric car today. And we want to inspire 100% to make this giant leap into the future. So how do you do to inspire change? Well, you know, one of the strongest drivers of change is simply beauty. And luckily, our country, Italy, has a special talent for putting beauty at the service of higher values. Even San Francesco himself was inspired by beauty, and beauty also drove the Renaissance. So now we have the opportunity of a new Renaissance, industrial, ecological, ethical, and social. Fiat deeply believes in this vision. By the way, I use the word icon. This is how we marketing people speak of successful products, you know, symbols uh, for a generation. But the church says so much more. You remind us that a true icon always has a cause. So we should all learn from that lesson. And if it is true that a car can have a symbolic meaning, it is our duty to use it to promote an ideal, to use it as an activist, to use it to drive change. So we're happy to be at the service of the Holy See and we are grateful to Cardinal Turkson for his encouragement to work together. Greener mobility really is a frontier where the universe of business and the universe of faith find a common cause to, be the, to build a better world and, of course, keep it moving. Thank you.